Black let's Rock. go back to the beginning. You start oh, your experience volunteering for Sweat versus Savvy. Talk me um, through that. It was kind of like, you know, split second, you know, when Jeff says, give you a moment to strategize, he means a moment, okay? Like, <laughs> it's not long. I know like people think it's TV and you have all this time and everything like that, but no, they are on a tight schedule. You know, we're competing against the light and everything like that. So we really have to be in and out with it. And, you know, me and Caleb had just performed on the sweat portion of the first challenge and we worked well together. And at the time we didn't know we were going to have to do both types of challenges we thought it was going to be like the past season sweat or savvy you know so we put our best sweat foot forward and it ended up kind of backfiring and not saying that we're you know idiots or anything like that but that puzzle was really hard I mean you got Brando who does software developing for you know however long he's been doing it and he was even stumped you got Jake the lawyer over here and they're mm-hmm. stumped and so ultimately the decision was just like well I know I can sweat you know, I know that's my everyday life. You know, I'm active duty Marine. So I trusted myself to be out there and give my best foot, you know, forward, um, as opposed to some of the other members on the tribe. You know, Brandon, he's down after just having this panic attack. You know, Sean's soaking wet. You know, um, if anything's heavy, you know, he probably weighs a buck, you know, a buck one soaking wet, you know, and yeah. same thing with Hannah and Emily. So, yeah, it was not the best I feel like looking back you know hindsight is twenty twenty. maybe not separating yourself that early you know now you got Emily kind of stewing the pot back at which we didn't plan for but um ultimately I feel like for our tribe it was the best decision mm-hmm. yeah so then that takes us to what turns out to be a historic first tribal oh, talk yeah. me through your mental process what was your plan going in and then how what was the mental journey to get you to be okay with this quit oh goodness um I, first of all let me just say I love Hannah to death um she is an amazing person um and I don't feel like she really got a fair stake because one you saw the dress she was wearing you know when we were on the boat they her backup clothes I think were like jeans and a tank top you know and flats and you know here I am with my sneakers my hoodie my sweatpants and we're getting wet our all of our clothes are wet it rained very heavy on our beach that second day and nonstop. Mm -hmm. um she couldn't sleep she was literally I had to give her one of my t-shirts that I had which is really in Survivor I mean who shares clothes you know if you find them as people get voted off, but you don't share, but she was sh- shaking and shivering so bad at night. It was just like, girl here, you know? So yeah. she was going through it, you know, no, mm-hmm. we had next to no food. We had, we literally slept on the raft the first night because we had no shelter, not, not recommend 10 out of 10 would not recommend sleeping right. on the raft. <laughs> It's not a plan. Do not do it. So, so going yeah, into that yeah. tribal though, yeah. was it Emily for you? Definitely. Um, mm-hmm. I would say the whole tribe wanted Emily out for mm-hmm. sure. And even Kendra coming there, you know, there was some whispers about Brandon's name. And I feel like ultimately she wrote down Brandon after having some talks with us, but she had to vote before tribal. I didn't know that right. until we got there and she, you know, was just kind of a spectator, but, um, you know, ultimately none of us got to vote at that tribal, mm-hmm. you know, so I didn't vote the entire game, but, you know, she, Kendra being on our beach, you know, and us talk, having to kind of strategize around her and then ultimately us talking and her telling me she had a vote. It's like, okay, well put one on Brandon, but it's Emily, you know, just in case, you know, that falls through, she plays her shot in the dark, whatever happens, right. you know, um, we're still in the clear, but yeah, it was definitely going to be Emily. Um, and, t- and we went around, Jeff asked multiple times, do we still want to vote? Yes. Do we still mm-hmm. want to vote? Yes. It wasn't until, and I, I literally said, and I don't feel like they played it, but I said, Hannah won't go home until we say she does. Right. You alluded to something like yeah. that. <laughs> like, and that's when you see the comment where she's like, well, I don't have to be voted out to go home. Mm-hmm. Hindsight is twenty twenty. We probably should have just called her bluff, you know, yeah. and said like, you know, voted for Emily. So if she maybe stuck it out with us for a couple of more days, I mean, ultimately we were going back the next time anyway. So 
might not have worked out, you know, bad for us. Brandon definitely would have stayed in longer, but yeah, it was, it was rough. It was definitely rough to see her go. Uh, she would have been such a great ally going mm. forward, especially for me. I definitely needed her for sure. Mm-hmm. When you find the beware advantage with Brandon and he's mm-hmm. like, no, oh, are God. you just gung ho to open it? Or did you hesitate as well? I hesitated until I realized like, this is why I'm out here. Mm-hmm. You know, we're out here to play the game. So was I shocked that he didn't want to open it? Yeah. And that you can kind of see my face like, are you serious? Um, but once I realized that he was, it was just like, okay, well, at least it's with Brandon, who we had like not really had a bunch of time to talk, but I love him from the jump. So I'm like, okay, if I'm going to find it with Brandon, I don't feel like that's a bad thing for my game because he was kind of positioned himself on the bottom. Mm-hmm. So if he's gone earlier and I find the idol, now it's just mine, mm-hmm. you know, but also he's a great guy and I would love to play with him. So if should our you know, our relationship develop, it can end up being a really awesome duo. You know, him more being more social, me being more athletic and social, we could really make something go. So um, I was going to open it, girl. I was going to open it. (laughs) Definitely. (laughs) All right. Well, that takes us to the second tribal. So, but now you've got no vote. The edit kind of makes it look like you're really you know, pushing for Emily, whereas Caleb and Sean are more pushing for Brandon. Is that accurate? I feel like it flip-flopped back and forth. So in the beginning, I feel like I was like, okay, she's Emily, but Brandon, we can't win. And now he's the only one that really knew about my advantage and stuff like that. And I had gone to the tree with him and stuff like that. So if he goes, that's kind of good, you know? Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, wait a minute. But then I start thinking about Emily and how I can't really trust her. And I don't really have that vibe with her like I have with Brandon. So that's when you see me see, talk to Sean. And I'm just like, man, I feel like she would slit my throat in the night because at the end of the day, I feel like she would, and she did, you know? So <laughs> I was right, you know what I mean? So, you know, those those intuition is really everything in your gut when you're out there with people is your biggest form of currency. Mm-hmm. So, um. It was definitely an Emily for me until it wasn't. But ultimately, yeah. also, I don't have a vote. So you can't push, you know, you can't politic without vote, you know, without a vote. Like, it's like, okay, like, this is what I think. Yeah. What do y'all think? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, they want, you know, we want Emily. We want Emily. Okay. Well, what do you think about voting out Brandon? You know, like our challenge, you know, winning a challenge. Can we win with Brandon? You know, and you plant that seed and you see what people have to say. And then you go. So it was a volley. Definitely. I definitely stood on both sides of that fence. Um, But going into tribal council, it was Emily. Definitely. So this episode, we we kind of get the sense that it's actually you and Sean, even though Mm -hmm. we were thinking you and Caleb were the duo. Was it always you and Sean closer or was this sort of building? Yes. And that's hilarious because I know that that's what's necessary obviously great production edits everything like that because ultimately me turning on Caleb it makes it seem like that was like my tragic flaw you know (laughs) and I love it it's great tv but me and Sean we we are so tight I mean you see me wearing my shirt today um (laughs) still he's like we are cut from the same cloth. You know, we're both LGBTQ. He's a principal. My parents are both teachers. We both come from conservative Christian backgrounds. You know, me being raised in the South Christian, him being raised in Mormon. So we both have the same like kind of coming of age stories Mm -hmm. and, you know, family stories. We're both really close to our families and everything like that. So me and Sean were really chopping it up a lot. And that is ultimately what scared Caleb into reaching out to Emily because he Mm. knew that he was more of a number three than a number two. He started Mm. to see that. And we've had talks, of course, now that, you know, everything is said and done. And he's just like, yeah, man, like y'all get on so Mm. well. And it scared him. Yeah. Like, I I feel like we had a lot more moments than were shown, but um, 
it, it, it is what it, I understand it. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> I understand yeah. it because we and Caleb, don't get me wrong. Me and Caleb are very close. You know, he reminds me of one of my brothers. Literally, I tell him that all the time. We're both Virgos. You know, mm-hmm. it's like we're masculine and feminine versions of each other, literally being on the same tribe. We're like twins. And uh, that can be good, but it can also be bad because if people see you as such an unbreakable pair so early, you know, you get Emily's. And you get, right. you know, that spotlight on y'all so early. And that that scared me as well. Losing this immunity challenge. I mean, oh, the goodness. music changes. I'm <laughs> gutted. You just had a high of winning a reward. Just talk me through this moment when you guys lose. I mean, those challenges are so real. Like, mm-hmm. you are already exhausted and you know I come from an athletic background I come from a military background but there's never been an op or there's never been a meet or a game that I wasn't completely prepared for mm-hmm. you know practiced for eating pre-game or MRE what have you you know like you go in with your best mind so when you're at the low the Lulu tribe and having to really pony up every single time mm-hmm. and just like knowing that you're going to be one of the biggest strength components, which I wasn't planning for going into this game. Like I knew that it would be kind of a secret weapon for me to be physical, but I was not expecting to be a pillar, you yeah. know, me and Caleb <laughs> holding up. I just did not expect that. So it was heart wrenching. You know, the, those puzzle pieces are not light. I mean, I know they probably don't look oh. it, but they are not. They are not light. Um, yeah. And those, the, like, we're hitting ourselves on the wagons and we're, you know, getting drugged and everything like that. And there's a moment, you can see it on Emily's face, where we knew it was getting away from us. Let's jump quickly here to this mm-hmm. tribal because, I mean, if you're going to go out, go out like an icon. <laughs> roasting an idol on an open fire. I mean, Jeff, it looks sometimes like he doesn't even know what's happening. When you read in the voting booth that you got to use it now or risk your vote, does it even cross your mind to use it at this point? It does uh, because there had been a couple of moments at camp where I had like that sinking feeling. But at the same time, I knew that I had told Caleb to tell Emily my name. So it's like, I I was expecting a vote. So mm-hmm. when that's why when you see my first, the first vote and you know, it's spelled all wrong and everything. I'm like, okay, that's Emily. And mm-hmm. the next one is Caleb. So the second vote being me was like, wow. You know, like that was all I could say. But um, I thought about playing it. But, you know, also, you know, being we we uh, all you have to do on the beach is think. Mm -hmm. So we already knew there was going to be a swap the Mm -hmm. next day. We're like, there's no way they don't swap us. There's just no way Um, it's it would be unprecedented to go down to three and compete with three. I don't feel like they've ever done that. Um, And if they did, I'm sure the fans would have hated it. So (laughs) I was just like, okay, like. It's got to be tomorrow, you know, if we could just make it through. But what if I get swapped and I'm on the bottom somewhere else? That was the biggest thing. And I know you're not supposed to play for tomorrow in Survivor. You got to play for right now. But right. you you would be wrong to not think about it, you know, yeah. like, OK. And people were saying, oh, well, play it and then get another one. It's like, girl, did you not just see how much <laughs> tra- trauma yeah. I just went to to even get this one? You know, so right. ne- like feeling like I finally have a vote. I mm-hmm. finally have my idol. It's day seven. It's been four horrible days, paranoid filled days of I don't have a vote. I don't have a vote. What if they send me home? My back is against the wall and now I feel it. And you're telling me I don't if I don't vote. I could be safe further on. Mm -hmm. I had not felt safe at all. So it's like, it was definitely um, like the marshmallow experiment. You know what I mean? Like, (laughs) okay, are you going to bank stuff for the future? Or are you going to be satisfied right now? And I just was banking that I had one more, you know, day to go without a vote. And I was wrong, you know, and Mm -hmm. it's a, to me, I feel like, 
out of everything that I did that could have went bad, that was really the only mistake I made was I was just not playing the idol. I play the idol, Caleb goes home, we go forward with Emily. Yeah. And so it's, it is what it is. You know, if I could do it again. It is. <laughs> I know, but right? I, well, hopefully yeah. you do get to do it again. You, oh, I, yeah, we, definitely. we definitely wanted more of you. So hopefully oh, we get to wow. have you back. Thank you so that much for your time today. Thank you, Sarah.